Hey guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and today we are here for a new Plexus tutorial. Today I will show you how to import OBJ sequence to have great animation like that. So this is a very basic tutorial about a workflow to have this uh, really cool 3D mesh for motion design into After Effects. You will learn how to create this kind of shape into C4D, animate it and then import it in After Effects with the plugin Plexus 3. This is a really nice um, plugin to do motion graphics. So if you're new, I invite you to join the channel MHS Tuts and also the channel Motion Designer Community where you will find a lot of great uh, CGI renders. And on the channel MHS Suits, you will find a lot of cool tutorials be made by all uh, my mates and myself. You have the content language in the upper right. And we also have a Discord. All the links are in the description. And we have a lot of cool guys uh, talking about uh, different uh, stuff, making uh, great things. So feel free to join us to learn great stuff. With uh, this kind of uh, things, uh, you will be able to do it with uh, any mesh. So feel free to do it uh, with a horse, a sphere or anything else. So I will show you the basic uh, method uh, in Cinema 4D uh, on how to create this uh, really simple animation. This was uh, inspired by a short render by my friend uh, Jeremy Spaniolo. That's um, the guy uh, um, who I make uh, this uh, very nice uh, low poly film on C4D. We made this uh, back in the past and <laughs> he has made this uh, really nice video uh, with this uh, Plexus style and uh, this inspired me to show you uh, how to do this kind of design and the workflow to, to import your sequences into After Effects. So I will take a simple cube and the only things I've done for this in After Effects is just uh, edit my cube with a C, increase the timeline uh, duration, and click here to activate point animation. Then I switch in polygon mode and just add some keyframes and tweak it a bit. So that's just to show you uh, what we can do, but you feel free to, to to do um, any kind of uh, reshaping or animation and export it because uh, we have a free plugin on the Robite uh, website uh, called uh, Plexus OBJ Sequence uh, Exporter and that's the one I will use today. So just animate a bit your shape and when you're happy with your animation, if you want to do a loop, you can just copy paste the first uh, keyframe. So just hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and uh, you you have done an animation. So I will not spend too much time on this because you can do uh, pretty much uh, anything uh, you want. You can. Uh, Feel free to do great things and then I export it with uh, Plexus OBJ sequence. So you can find Plexus OBJ sequence with the great uh, uh, things called Google and you have it uh, for free on the Robite, uh, the Robite website. I think that's nice and that's free. So that's a free download and you can export here your sequence so just choose uh, a pass and export your sequence so then when you have your sequence you need to go into after effects i hit ctrl n to have a new composition ctrl y to have a new solid i type plexus into my command to have uh, my fx console 
to have my plexus and I will click add geometry obj and I will call uh, my obj after import it so file import obj sequence just drag and drop your obj sequence mask it and go into your plexus obj object and take your sequence so you see the small points let's add a line renderer increase the distance let's add triangulation let's increase a bit uh, distance to have this kind of nice uh, animation and one last thing i've done is uh, add an effector color map that's really simple to color it just create a new solid add a new gradient or you can you can add a, a more complex gradient if you want you can uh, just uh, play with uh, different kind of colors make uh, making great great things let's have fun by tweaking colors and switching and when you're happy with your color map just pre-compose it Control shift c let's transfer all the attributes mask it and go into your color map and just take your color map and then you have an amazing color map so create a new camera to be able to navigate into the scene and you have your great animation and i think that's a really great thing to do uh, nice uh, motion design stuff i think you can achieve really great looks you can add text you can add a lot of things and you have a large amount of effects that you can apply with uh, all the stuff so you can add uh, glue you can add uh, so much things so i hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial today to learn how to do this uh, really great uh, really great thing and i hope we will uh, meet uh, really soon for a new cool tutorial and i a thing that i love is you have a lot of stuff to animate your your object you also have a sound effector which is nice you can play with your object trans transformation like if you change the scale all the um, the effector will work with it so you can do really nice motion design stuff just take the time to animate it to create nice things and do do what you like do what you want and think that at any moment you can also duplicate your your mesh and you can rescale it and have uh, like two plexus obj and that's a uh, really nice in my opinion and everything is animated because you animated in to c4d and you can go where you want because that's a 3d sequence and that's a, a really great thing so see you next time hope you enjoyed the tricks and have a great day